Thank you for having me in Dayton. Yes. So we got Tyler Braden. Yes. Tyler. Tyler. Braden beat Tyler recently. He sure did. I was telling Vias at home that I was talking to Tyler earlier, and uh, he said, if I if I drink too long at Island Ice Teas, I'm going to lose to Braden and just do karaoke. <laughs> I've been trying to buy him drinks, and he's been saying no. I think he's very serious. Yeah. He was uh, very serious. Unfortunately for, for Dayton. He's got to get his run back, even though he's in Dayton. It's crazy. I, Tyler is moving so so fast today. He is. He, he was Rio. 3-0, really? Yeah. Wow. Like, three stopped him twice. That's wild. I was watching uh, the very end of that set on stream, and uh, Tyler's movement was just so shallow in space. Like, he would not let him breathe, which is, I mean, not only is that a paramount importance in any Fox matchup, but, like, Tyler's just really good. Yeah, yeah. I, uh... Wow. Yeah, really it is just so fast. And I, I, I was really shocked that he was not top 100 this year. Me too. I, I think both these fellas are going to be top 100 uh, the like next time they do it. Like 100%. Even like some. For sure. And here we have two top 5 Ohio players. I'm not on the panel for the state PR, but uh, I've got I've got spies everywhere. Yeah, no, <laughs> I've got I, spies everywhere. I'm very loosely on the panel. Hell yeah. Uh, I know because of Two Strand, who didn't want to be on the panel, but ended up on the panel for reasons I will spare you all the details of. Yeah, <laughs> but no, I'm, I'm, he's probably on the panel because I'm kind of not. But I think Brayden added him. But I know from these two that um, it's, I, I don't know if it's going to be top 12 or top 15, but it's more than 10 because that's how good the talent in Ohio is this year. Ohio is crazy. And I remember I was talking to uh, Etos, and he was talking about um, how, how many top 100s per region. Yeah. Like New England has... Six or seven. Michigan has however many. We've so got now you're four, right? Tri State has however many, but so every regional in Ohio counted differently. Really? And that's how strong Ohio is. That's awesome. Wow. I didn't know that. Neo with Flash and TRT. I'm so happy about uh, Flash placing how he did. Uh, 100%. Understand. With Columbus, with B Day, Millie, Grafton, with. Braden's here in Dayton. Dayton. Cincinnati with Essie. Yeah, Juice Strand said he's probably top 15. I would say, I would say so. For years, he's been right on the edge of top 100. He's, he's been like, you know, like 120 or something, you know. Like he, he's just, I, I want to say he's been on the ballot once or twice, and he's like right there, but he it's, doesn't go to enough. It's, it's very cool that DK is finally getting adequate representation. For sure. And I love it for DK as well, because like, We've got new people in Dayton who come around and say, Oh, were you part of the, the DK Renaissance that happened recently? And he just laughs and says, Nah. <laughs> that that voice is like Donkey Kong for like seven years. With and, uh, what Tyler just did there, the running shy. Yes, I was going to say. Turn around with the wave dash back. The, uh, in Columbus, we've got some people uh, in a group called Co-Fug. Oh, yeah. It's about, all about approving. And the, the Co-Fug like challenge is the running shy and turn around. Wave dash back to grab red. I like that. And so, <laughs> the we, were talking, we were talking earlier about the applications of that. Hell yeah. We just did it. So That's awesome. You'll love to see it. <laughs> see a Neo, um, uh, what's the place? Uh, the Jeffy is the same thing, but instead of grabbing ledge, it's a uh, turn right back here. <laughs> yep. Yep. That's a Jeffy. Two. Two. Rocking the true tag two. with the red cheek for Let's presumably go. Dreffin. Oh, absolutely. His goat? His, His goat. goat. <laughs> And everyone's so goat. Happy. Everyone's goat. I'm so happy at Ohio Summit because Raiden is like, in the grand scheme of things, he's relatively new to Melee. He, he's like a dot and stuff, and like his heart is in it so much. But Dreffin is one of the people that he watched, and like, this person makes me want to be good at the game. And so, hey, it's awesome to see a cheap player just like be inspired by Dreff and go this far. But it's further awesome at Summit. I, I stood with Dreffin watching um, Ice King and Flash play, and Dreffin was just, he had so much good stuff to say about. Ice King. And he's like, oh my god, I would do that in there. I would do that there. And I told Braden later that I he was just smiling. Like, I'm sure. Dreffin, Dreffin is such a blessing to the community. He's just a blessing in general. He's such a wonderful human. Definitely. 
I couldn't say it better. I, I'm so glad. I, I don't think I would be sitting in this chair today if it weren't for Jeffin. Oh uh, yeah, I, I bet, man. Like he, he's really like the, the granddad of Uncle Olympus Melee, bro. My first tournament, I I went up and I talked to him and I I was playing Sheik at the time, and I asked if he would play some games with me. And after he won the bracket, he played with me for an hour. Awesome, hell yeah, bro. And just being able to share that with him. Have it, have the top players be so welcoming. Absolutely, man. Like it's that's incredible. our community for you. Like we're all homies. It's like at the end of the day, we're all just a bunch of dudes. Like <laughs> that's why I called it homie round. Yeah, like, I love that. I uh, I knew that no matter how competitive I got, it was always going to be homie at the end of the day. Absolutely. I feel like that's held true. Even Charlie. <laughs> yeah, even Charlie. <laughs> even Charlie. <laughs> well, as much as he would like, as much as he would like to not be, as much as he would like to not be, and I've been jokingly shit talking him all night because that's just how me and him are. I've it's been like, jokingly shit talking Charlie Wu since <laughs> since I got here. Yeah, as you should, because there's almost nothing more fun than jokingly shit talking Charlie. Yeah. <laughs> and the funniest part is how bad how bad I am comparatively. Right. I uh I call him Ass Patrol. <laughs> <laughs> He's just constantly on Ass Patrol. He's always losing. Oh, uh, that's funny. Um, He's but always joking. I don't think I've ever taken a stock off him. Uh, <laughs> shit, dude. Don't let him hear that. Oh, he might. He might. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, we were playing. I told people uh, in the chat earlier, but you, I don't know if you heard that me and Charlie were playing uh, Best of Five Mario Kart Jumping Dash earlier. Did you, did you do it? Oh, I did. Oh, you I watched it? him. I watched him, yeah. Uh, he says, cause I, I lost the first game, and then I did something crazy game two, and he was just like, bro, were you sandbagging? <laughs> like, I was like, oh, yeah. I was like, Charlie, you don't understand. I played this game with my mom growing up. I was like, fucking Mario Mario Party. Mario Party goat, dude. Oh. What happened there? He gave up. And that's fair. That happens. I do that against Tyler yeah. typically. <laughs> On the note of this match, holy shit, Tyler's moving so fast. Like, I yeah. almost can't keep up. I want to see, like, the uh, the statistics of Ready? her input for... I think I could keep up maybe six or seven drinks ago. <laughs> so, <laughs> right? I'm that's what I'm saying. Behind. Oh, I'm with you, dude. I'm with you. Ha! Um... But yeah, like just watching him, I think this is realistically his bracket to lose. Yeah, no doubt. I, I super agree with that, for sure. But Brayden's not down for the count just yet. No, oh, absolutely Surprised he's not. not rocking the TM71 tag. It's either 70 or 71 that he does. Very clear. Yeah. Yeah. What, what's that stand for? He just taunted! What? what did, did he really? Yeah, he just straight up taunted. What does the uh, TM71 stand for? It is Aurora Veil. <laughs> What? It is Aurora Veil. Okay. I knew it was a Pokemon move, I just didn't, wasn't sure which one. Yeah, you did. He's rocked it against me, and I've always been curious. Uh, he, he loves all things Ice Man. I remember when he was Ice Man. I was around for Ice Man. Ice Man, Ice Thug, Ice King, Ice Bro, Ice Dude, Ice Buddy, etc. <laughs> it fits him well. Ice God. He's very, very cold with it. Ice Fellow. <laughs> I'm surprised that the ice isn't slowing down Tyler any. I know, right? <laughs> he's trying to set his turn and he's blizzing on him. <laughs> so I think the first time, the first time Brayden has had a lead, all yeah. lead I've all set. He, when he gets a lead, he plays different. Like, he tries so hard to keep his leads. And you love to see it. Well, <laughs> maybe I spoke too soon. But <laughs> still, he tries to keep his still lead. has a lead, percent-wise. Yeah, percent-wise, he's got a lead. I tell you, man, Ice King, if ever there was a human being devoted to Super Smash Bros. Melee, I mean, seriously, like, the love he has for this game is like no one I've known in like the seven or eight years I've been part of the community. Like, he loves this game so much, he works so hard, and win or lose this set, this night at Yellow Cab, I just, I mean, Tyler, too, he's come so far, beating HBox and stuff, but, like, both of these guys have such a love for the game, and I just, I really love to see it. Brayden, Brayden is one of the, if not the most pleasant people I've ever met through Melee. For sure. Just, like, bro. always, hard. just always one of the more nicer, you know, he's very positive. Always positive, no matter what. His presence is so extremely valuable. For sure. So happy to have met him. And same with Tyler. Yeah. Less so. But <laughs> <laughs> Which is fair. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta keep the homies honest. <laughs> But, but I, honestly, dude, Ice King is like the, the fucking, like, the, the Sim and Roll to protect at all costs meme. Like, yeah. that, that really, like, he's our Sim and Roll. It's him and Teacher. <laughs> that's how <laughs> I would hate that I said that. That's how I am with Ferris. Man, what an That's how I am with Ferris, too. But, wow. Good set, good set. Very good set. Ice King is not down and out yet. He's not down and out yet. He's not down and out by any means. 